Welcome to Hypercastle Explorers. I'm Matto, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the first public release of our Hypercastle Explorer application, show you a little bit of how it looks, and also demonstrate how to get around and the controls. The Explorer application allows you to explore the on-chain generative land art of the Terraforms by Math Castles NFT project in a number of different ways. Now, for those who are brand new to all of this, I've actually created a video essay that provides a kind of a quick background to the Terraforms project, Hypercastle Explorers in, in a larger sense, and that's linked in the video description. So starting at our legal and logo startup screen, we give credit to the Math Castle Studios, the artist behind the original Terraforms artwork, and to my team at Thousand Ant, who've developed this application and the underlying SDK, which powers it. So entering the main menu, we see a cycling display of Terraforms in their original 2D representation. And so this is how they appear on NFT websites as a 2D animated SVG file. And if you click on the information display box below the Terraform, you can jump randomly to another token parcel, or if you just wait about 15 seconds, it'll automatically cycle to the next one. So from the menu, we can choose to explore in three different modes. The first is a 2D Explorer mode. And in this mode, we can move around in a 2D representation of the Terraform's hypercastle structure using the W, A, S, and D keys. The default is a kind of flying airship mode for the character where it's unlimited in how it can move. But if you push space, it'll toggle to a landed kind of walking on the ground mode where the static non-animated areas of the Terraform's parcels will block the player from moving. In the 2D Explorer mode, you can move up and down levels in the structure by pressing Q and E. And in all modes, you can disable the audio by pressing M on the keyboard. And if you want to turn off the user interface overlay, you can press U to toggle that off and on. In the 2D mode, the tab key will toggle between displaying the parcels in a square aspect ratio or their original rectangular shape. In order to return to the main menu and enter the other modes, you can press the escape key. In the 3D Navigator, the movement controls are the same, basically. We use WASD to move around, and we use Q and E to move up and down levels. In this mode, the mouse allows you to rotate the camera, and the mouse wheel allows you to zoom the view in and out. In the 3D Navigator mode, you can also visualize the hypercastle structure using cubes instead of the detailed parcel view by pressing Tab. The L key in this view will toggle between a view in which only the current level is displayed and a view where the entire structure is displayed. Returning to the main menu by pressing escape, the third mode we can explore is the free fly exploration mode. In this mode, you aim where you wanna go by rotating the camera with the mouse and you move again using WASD for horizontal movement. And in this case, you can move up by holding the space bar and down by holding the control key. To fly faster, you can press or hold the shift key while moving. And the one, two, and three number keys on the keyboard allow you to change the background color between black, gray, or a dynamic color, which is based on which level you're close to. Importantly, while we hope that this release of the Explorer application is an enjoyable experience for everybody who downloads it, it's meant really as a demonstration for the underlying open source software SDK, which we created for Terraforms. So the SDK is there to help developers who are interested in creating applications or games using Terraforms and the Unity game engine to get started quickly and hopefully to focus more on the creative and interesting aspects of their projects as opposed to things like being able to access the Terraforms data from the Ethereum blockchain. So if you'd like to build something with the SDK, it's available for free on GitHub now. And you can always find us in the Hypercastle Explorers Discord server, which is linked below if you have any questions. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and have fun exploring the Hypercastle.